All right, so I uh, tried to make this clock even smaller, and this is what I came up with for that. So it's just a two a uh, whole trench or two square trench with a redstone torch at one end and redstone coming out of one side at the other end and a um, sticky piston. And they just put in a conducting block and it goes. And uh, how this works is that this piece of redstone down here is only going to be oriented towards this piece of redstone on the side if there isn't a block cutting the connection. If there is a block cutting the, the connection, it will instead power the block underneath the piston, which will then cause the piston to push. Once the piston pushes, the block will be over the torch powering this wire, but also this piece of redstone will uh, reorient uh, away from uh, the block underneath here and towards this redstone, depowering this block and depowering the piston, causing it to retract again. And so we have the same effect as before, but each of these are actually only a 3 tick clock, not a 1.5 tick clock. To make a 1.5 tick lock, what we need to do is make a couple of them and then hope to get two that are out of sync by half of a uh, cycle. And to do that, I'm going to reload a couple times. So we see that a bunch of them dropped their blocks. A couple more times. And it looks like these are actually all synchronized right now. Let me make sure. Okay, no, they aren't. Um, so these three actually will stay running and keep their blocks. no matter what I do. So uh, I, w I can actually use this one and say this one as the 1.5 tick clock. So I'll remove this repeater. And the reason I chose uh, this one versus that one is because this one is actually in the same chunk as this one. And um, these two will stay synchronized as long as they're only ever loaded and unloaded at the same tick. And there's a possibility since this one is in the next chunk over of it not loading at the same time as this. But uh, note that this is very uh, easy to build. It's only two by two by three, and you need two of them, but they can be separated, so it's much more flexible where it can fit. So I'm going to now hook this to a piston, and oops. you can see that it's not actually synchronized right now. So if I reload the level a couple times, okay, there, we got it synchronized. Now. And so now all three of these are synchronized. And they'll stay synchronized forever. The internal clocks aren't actually synchronized. They could be, um, for example, if this uh, corner is right now synchronized with, let's say, the near corner there, that happened to be how it was, then reloading the clock at different times could lead to them becoming out of sync, those corners. But the clocks as a whole will stay synchronized. Okay, so uh, one last thing I want to show uh, with this clock setup right here is that this pulsar, which is used typically used for a uh, fast um, clock, actually is both slower than this and not as stable as far as uh, the rate at which it pushes the piston out. And you can also kind of hear that in the door and see it. Alright. Okay, now the last thing I want to show of everything is over here. So I'm going to load some chunks in this direction. Alright, so all this is is four of the track piece clocks. But this one is just standard. This one has an extra one tick delay on each of its outputs. This one has an extra two ticks. And this one has an extra three ticks. And what that means is when we start all the clocks up, that this one being one tick slower than that should look like it's half a tick faster. And you can see that 
that's in indeed the case that they are out of sync. It's hard to see exactly how to take, but we can see about how much out of phase they are. These two looks like are the same amount out of phase, and these two look like they're the same amount out of phase. But these two are perfectly in sync, and that should be ex expected because these or this one is three ticks delayed from that one in total. And what that means is that since it's a 1.5 tick clock, it's two full cycles behind. So they're at the same point in their respective cycles, and so they're in sync. Um, one final note, we know that this clock, since it's a 1.5 tick, and the repeaters are full tick on each time they come on, when the pulse that's feeding them is shorter than a tick, we know that this is one tick on, half tick on. Alright, uh, that's all I wanted to show. Thank you for your time.